Join me on this holiday special episode of Rian the Run Part 2, where you're still home with me for the holidays, only this time catch us losing teeth in food bags, making tamales, and living out the crazy Midwest family holiday dreams. Yeah, okay, so our nephew Michael lost a tooth tonight because I think Grant pulled it out, the future dentist. And now we can't find the tooth. Wait, Chris, did you find the tooth? I haven't found the tooth yet. Chris, well, you had it on the counter. Well, I remember this baggie was on the counter. No way. It's no. Chris, let me look in here. No way there's a tooth in that. There's no way there's... It was on the counter? This was on the counter. I grabbed it. I just started loading pasta. <laughs> no. Wait, I'll show you the way some turkey. Wait, there's no way. I don't feel anything hard in here. Sorry, salami. No tooth for Claire. Kristen. Yes. Oh my God. Is anybody eating any... Are we having turkey for lunch tomorrow? Yes, turkey sandwiches. What are you getting? Did are you, you find it? Are you, do you think we're going to have, like, maybe a tooth tomorrow? Oh. <laughs> no way. No way, no way, no way. It's a fairy's No way, no way, no way. Let me see, let me see. I need the reveal. No way! It's a cavity tooth! No, it's a cap. It's a capped cavity tooth, right? Wow. Hey, it's, the cap is big money. Big money. Oh, Who can we sell it to? I mean, that's a thousand dollar tooth right there. No, it's on the other kids being a cap. Oh, yeah. Michael would like to sell it, he said, and try to get some money. <laughs> Well, well, would you look what the cat dragged in? Oh, oh, oh man. String and lights? Man. I was trying to surprise you and get the Christmas lights up before Maria arrived. And then she'd come in and say, I'm dreaming of a wife. I'm my baby girl. Oh, my God. So this is where we wound up on Christmas Eve. It looks like Trump's gonna be crawling up my pant leg. Oh my god, how scary is that? Oh my god. That is so funny. It's just a gag gift. Yeah. I Dad. Glow in the dark shirts. You can find That's me why I lose them when we go camping. <laughs> <laughs> you can help kids cross the street. Yeah. Yeah. They sure look good in the store. We're making tamales, and I'm draining all this amazing pork. Wow, look at that. And I'm putting it in the strainer. And um, yeah, we are preparing for everybody to get here and we gonna make some tamales. Hi, mom. <laughs> I would second that. Or not yet. Oh, wow, okay. Ready? Come in. <laughs> <laughs> so we are almost ready to wrap the mallet. I don't know how we do. So I'm draining the masa or the, the corn husk, and then Grant's mixing last of the masa, and then Mom, what are you doing over there? I mix the with the chicken. So we're almost done. The time has come where we are. Making a little mallet. I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. I'm a half into the top. This house is never not loud. It's always loud. Grant, what is this? This is our this is our house chicken tamale. Um, with some verde in it. Oh my gosh. Um, it, they don't all break like this, but when they do, you know they're good. <laughs> Mom, are you nervous? Yeah, I am. Okay. Okay. We'll try. Steaming. It looks very moist. All right, here we go. Big reveal. Careful, it looks yeah. hot. Okay. That looks good. And very hot. Well, that's very good. Here, I'll try. Good? Mm -hmm. That looks good. Wow. Get him. Uh, no. In addition to the chicken verde tamales, we also accepted the challenge of making banana leaf wrapped pork tamales. You know, here at the Zagar household, we're all about variety. This was by far the longest day I've had in a very long time, but let me tell you, it was worth it, and girl, do we work it. Oh, and P.S., we made over 240. Come at me, bro.
It's like 7.30 maybe, I don't even know. And we're just about to eat our Mexican fiesta. We are exhausted, just exhausted. Those Mexican <laughs> women, I, I, I definitely give them a lot of credit. They are wonderful people and they work hard to make those tamales. And I'm gonna try again next year and maybe I'll move a little bit. And you know, she's a Mexican lady and she's nice. She's a nice lady. <laughs> Look, we can do it. We can do it. What a good Okay, well we are outside for our walk and we are about to do some hood rat shit with all these kids. And I'm going to the skate park and I'm scrambling. Hey Vinny, Vinny, come here for a sec. Tell the camera what you did today that you got in trouble for. I sold Christmas trees. What kind of trees? Where'd you find them? Uh, the park. They sold it. Wait, what's this? <laughs> They were selling White Claws and LaCroix last time. Yeah, because they we were trying were to make some money. Alcohol. We sold alcohol. <laughs> no, they didn't know. They took you in their house and kidnapped you for good. Do you think about these things? Yes, I do. What if you knock on the door and say, would you like to buy a tree? They're going to report you to the main office. And they're gonna, why? Because you're picking their trees. You don't knock at strangers' doors. You don't know who these people are. There she is, party coordinator. We have so many guests and so many people. I'm saving money on the night. I'm looking for you, brother. I'm looking for you. Dang it. The wrong one. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Joey, what is that? So everybody had a gift in front of the Oh man, I What did you get? Me too. Oh yeah. Didn't you need those? <sighs> yeah, we made it through part two, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did going home and um, witnessing all this McAllister craziness. Um, don't forget to tune into next video where I finally take you guys to our next country. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, I will see y'all later. Thank you so much.